Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is Thursday morning, March the 16th of 2023. Can you believe how quickly this year is going? But this is with Coffee with Pastor. I have my hot cup of coffee right here, and I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of Job in chapter 41. The book of Job chapter 41. While you are turning there so that you can join us and follow along, let's turn our attention to the bad dad joke as we get started. What is Forrest Gump's password? What is Forrest Gump's password? One Forrest One. Okay, that was kind of cute, but we'll put that away. And again, good morning to you. This is Thursday morning. Looking forward to a wonderful, wonderful day. It's supposed to get warm. And I guess this evening we're supposed to get some rain. So uh, we'll see what that ha what happens with that. And again, I trust it's going to be a super, super day for you. We are finally getting back into the rhythm from our Bible conference that we had last night in prayer meeting. I gave my church a report on what happened with the conference. It was an amazing, an amazing time. And um, I praise God that I had the opportunity to go down to the Shepherds Conference. Probably a once in a lifetime thing. And you know what? Most people don't even get the opportunity once. And so we are very very grateful for that opportunity. It is nine o'clock, and so we're going to go ahead, bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father, and ask God's blessing upon the day. Let's pray together. Father, as we come into your presence, good morning. Good morning to you, and we pray that today would be a glorious, glorious day, a productive day, a day in which we are faithful in serving you. Father, as we step into your presence, we again want to just say thank you for all of the blessings that you bring into our lives. And Lord, some unexpected, some we anticipate, but Lord, all of them are from your hands. And we pray for eyes that will recognize the blessings that come our way. Father, as we come into your presence, we ask for your provision today. For the basic needs of life. The strength to be able to meet the challenges of life. And Father, many who join us each and every day have significant challenges that they face every single day. Physical, emotional, otherwise, Lord, we lift them into your presence. And we just ask for your blessing upon their lives, that you would meet each and every one of their needs as it arises. And Father, remind each one of your love and your concern and your compassion for them. Father, we have no idea what today holds. We certainly have our agendas. We have the things that we would like to see done. But Lord, you know what the day actually holds. So Lord, we come into your presence and we ask that today we would be faithful to you regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the situation. And Lord, as we seek to do your will, Bless us. Help us, Father. We need your grace every day, every hour, every moment of the day. And it's with great joy that we pick up our Bibles and we can read them together. We can learn together. And Lord, again, we ask your blessing upon this time. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Job chapter 41. Let's begin reading. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with a hook, or his tongue with a cord which thou lettest down? 
Canst thou put an hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Wilt thou take him for a servant for ever? Wilt thou play with him as with a bird, or wilt thou bind him for thy maidens? Shall the companions make a banquet of him? Shall they part him among the merchants? Canst thou fill his skin with barbed irons, or his head with fish spears? Lay thine hand upon him. Remember the battle. Do no more. Behold, the hope of him is in vain. Shall not one be cast down even at the sight of him? None is so fierce that dare stir him up who when he is able to stand before me. Who hath prevented me that I should repay him? Whatsoever is under the whole heaven is mine. I will not conceal his parts, nor his power, nor his comely proportion. Who can discover the face of his garment? Or who can come to him with his double bridle? Who can open the doors of his face? His teeth are terrible round about. His scales are his pride, shut up together as with a close seal. One is so near to another that no air can come between them. They are joined one to another. They stick together that they cannot be sundered. By his kneesings a light doth shine and his eyes are like the eyelids of a morning. Out of his mouth go burning lamps, and sparks of fire leap out. Out of his nostrils go smoke, as out of a seething pot or cauldron. His breath kindleth coals, and a flame goeth out of his mouth. In his neck remaineth strength, and sorrow is turned into joy before him. The flakes of his flesh are joined together. They are firm in themselves. They cannot be moved. His heart is as firm as a stone, yea, as hard as a piece of the nether miles, millstone. When he raiseth himself, when he raiseth up himself, the mighty are afraid. By reason of breaking, they purify themselves. The sword of him that layeth at him cannot hold, the spear, the dart, nor the haberdashery. He esteemeth iron as straw, and brass as rotten wood. The arrow cannot make him flee. Sling stones are turned with him into stubble. Darts are counted as stubble. He laveth at the shaking of the spear. Sharp stones are under him. He spreadeth sharp pointed things upon the mire. He maketh the deep to boil like a pot. He maketh the seed like a pot of ointment. He maketh a path to shine after him. One would think the deep to be hoary. Upon earth there is not his like, who is made without fear. He beholdeth all high things. He is a king over all the children of pride. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. God's amazing creation. Leviathan, and as I mentioned yesterday, I, I believe he was a dinosaur. Powerful, terrible, could not be defeated by man. What a picture. And yet the whole idea is as great and as powerful as this Leviathan is. God is his creator. And God can tame him, control him. Great God we serve. Beloved, it is a good, good day. Looking outside, just starting to turn light. But beloved, I trust that today you're going to have a super day. Just remember, please to be faithful. Be faithful to God in everything we say, everything that we do. That is what matters.
And, beloved, do not allow yourself to become an excuse by which another might turn away from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go out and serve him. Let's go out and do his will. Remember, God loves you, and we do as well. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.